Do you want to get into cookie decorating but you don't know where to start? You are not alone. My name is Cami, and I am the founder of Iced Kitchen, a beginner cookie decorating guide. Once a month I drop a new guide with a new cookie set so that you can decorate along with me and have a hobby that you can do at home. This month we're doing citrus slices. We are doing full slices and half slices. Come along and decorate one with me. I'm gonna walk through how to decorate an orange slice and I'm gonna show you how I do it but also how I recommend you do it and that's not how I do it. This will make more sense further down the road. So you're gonna start with a round cookie, a circle cookie, and you're gonna grab your orange icing. I have a 15, 20 second hybrid icing. Uh, way more information about what that is, how, how to make that in the guide that you can download in the description, and you make a circle. After that, you're gonna use the same icing and you're just going to start filling in your circle. This is this is just like elementary school where you're coloring inside the lines except for you made the lines out of royal icing and you're filling the lines with royal icing as well. Another thing I'm going to cover a little later on in this video is is how to fix a cookie that has flooded over with the love and kindness of you overfilling it with royal icing. Literally Everyone does it. It happens to everyone at some point. And it happened It happened to me today with this cookie. So we're filling in this orange slice with orange. That makes perfect sense. Let's talk about what a hybrid icing is. It is a combination of a flood icing and a line icing. And so it can do it can do it all. This this is the icing you want on your team and that is why we're using it for this cookie. So I'm just going through and kind of filling in any spots that I'm still seeing cookie in and then I'm going to come in with my scribe and just help level it all out. The great thing about this icing is in 15 to 20 seconds, it will level itself out. I'm helping it go a little bit faster using my scribe. You can also use a toothpick for this. Scribe's just a fancy word here. That's that's all it really is. So I'm going around. I like really getting my, my icing all the way to the edge. Um, I wish circles weren't so difficult. Um, the more you decorate circles, the more you realize how dumb of a shape it is. This is what I like to call my washing machine method. It's mainly because I work with circles a lot. <laughs> I'm shaking it. Looks like a washing machine. Then we're coming in with white. We only use two colors for this cookie, white and orange. And we're going to make a circle inside our circle. I truly have no better way to say that. Please drop a comment how I, how I should be saying that. And I go around about three to four times. I actually have patience on this cookie. Um, and this is, this is what I don't recommend you do. I, I don't recommend putting the dot in now. I'll tell you when I would put it in. So now we're going to come back with that scribe and we're going to drag from the outside into the dot. But you can see I'm not actually going all the way into the dot here. And that's because I should have put the dot on later. Um, and every time I pull through, I do this drag method, I'm wiping my scribe off so that I don't mix my colors. Um, it just, I like to have some, some crisp delineation. This is actually the time I would put that white dot in. Um, and then I'm going to pull out along those lines. So I have that pith line that you see in an orange. Um, and then this is creating all those little wedges that you eat in an orange when you peel it. So that's what we're doing here. We're creating those wedges. We're going out from that dot in the center and pulling out, dragging out along those lines that we already created when we went from out to in. Now we're going into out and I'm just shaking a little bit more so I can even things out here. And, you know, any, any place that has a little divot I'm fixing, but that's really what, that's the, that's the end of this cookie, but we're back. And that's because I decorated some more cookies and this one's like, no, I'm going to overflow. So here's how I solve that. I grab my scribe. I use this quite a bit and I'm just dragging it along the outside of the cookie Shout out to this little Lazy Susan pedestal cookie decorating tool that I have because it makes 
dragging my scribe along the outside of the cookie very easy. And the plus side of using this consistency of icing is I could go through and drag that along the outside and I'm just kind of correcting these little edges that are a little scraggly now, but they settle and you would have no idea that this cookie overflowed and I had to fix it. And so this is how your orange slice is gonna look. Delicious. Be sure to check out the full video so you can see how to decorate every single one of these cookies and be sure to download the free guide that walks through step by step how to do all of the things when it comes to decorating sugar cookies in the description below. Be sure to subscribe so that you can get notified when the next free sugar cookie decorating set drops next month.